have some mental health issues. <laughs> but I think possibly they could just be PTSD related to years of emotional abuse. Um, my anxiety is vomitous in your presence. Presence of life. <laughs> but only if we've been separated long enough for me to notice that I can feel better apart from you. When the fog of pain and terror and sheer complete panicked uncertainty lifts in the presence of real and genuine and safe people who know the definition of gaslighting and Stop. wouldn't deny that definition if they were told from a place of ignorance, genuine ignorance, not your colon insulating your ears with the riotous silence of your own shit. Swearing Ooh. takes away from your message. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend say he'd love to hear the popping noise your head made as it unstuck from your ass, but at, <laughs> at the rate things are going, either you'll die of cancer or old age, and I'll die from suicide or a concentration camp, oh. and tell me how it's oh, fair that when we are in a room together, it's you that people worry about making oh. uncomfortable. Because what? it's your definition of me that they follow. Right. Oh. Follow directions. Oh. <laughs> Direct me like a child, like a child of six. I began to work in your machine shop for 50 cents an hour, right. and I thought I'd get a pony. It took me 18 years. And now I'm so, so good at so, so many things that are so, so specialized to the way you do things and right. the way you think. Right. But I try to do it right the first time. <laughs> With these manufactured feelings, manufacturing deficiencies and malfunctioning deficiencies, right. I am capable of reading screens and pushing buttons, which as it turns out is what you need to run robots and CNCs, but not so much for running your own mind and learning how to regulate what I end up chalking up to just more white boy rage and sadness. Right. Victimhood as a result of a sad childhood in a sick society. Trauma wrapped up in never having known your worth. The emotional resonance of constant vigilance. Right. That by the age of 28, I have put in 20 years in industry, but every one of them was worthless yeah. in this microcosm of capitalism that both depends on me for production right. and bends on me for destruction. Oh. I never promised you my whole life, but I don't remember promising you any of my life because I do not owe you for giving me life and then systematically tearing my self-esteem into shreds so that I could never ever have a life without you, so that I had to rely on you, owe you, bow to you, and I couldn't even keep the damn pony. So why, why, why do I try, try, try to please the unpleasable, believe the unbelievable, treat the untreatable, and is it possible, maybe even relatable, that I don't have an anxiety disorder, but everything around me is just dangerous? You're going down a dangerous path. <laughs>